The current New Hampshire fiscal crisis presents both tremendous opportunity and risk. The opportunity is to innovate. The risk is cutting in ways that reduce our ability to innovate and that weaken the foundation of our health care system and, in the long run, affect our outstanding quality of life by harming the vitality of communities, weakening New Hampshire's business climate, and pinching the average person's wallet. Most families are in good situations, are healthy, have jobs, and have health care. Yet other families genuinely need help. They may be our neighbors, our friends, our family, your friend whose child was born with Down syndrome, your cousin struggling to care for a parent with Alzheimer's, your child's schoolmate who lacks a supportive home, someone you know struggling with mental illness. The New Hampshire Legislature is proposing many funding cuts to programs and services for people in these situations. What might happen as a result of such funding cuts? Well, in the very short term, we'll have a smaller state budget, and that can be a good thing. But not long afterward, we will start to see a ripple effect with rising costs in other places, our communities, our businesses, and our own pocket. These ripples could serve to undo any short-term savings, ultimately costing us even more in the coming years. As programs and services are dismantled, those who need help join an ever-expanding line of those waiting for support. They will create pressure on our already stressed community systems. Families of children with disabilities or of parents with dementia will be pushed to their limits, distracted and absent from work. They may lose their jobs and health insurance. Some will be forced to institutionalize their family members. An increasing number will be left without primary preventive medical care and will find their health deteriorating. People with mental illness will be left untreated and will slip deeper into their illness. Personal financial resources will be used up. Tensions will rise. Churches and charitable organizations already struggling to keep up with increased demand in a time of reduced donations will do their best to help. Police, who are already stretched thin, will need to respond to additional calls from families no longer able to cope. With clinics closed and increased substance abuse, emergency room usage will grow. Ultimately, increased institutionalization, incarceration, emergency room usage, and hospitalization will result in unexpected costs at the local level. People who need help just don't go away, and the cost of caring for those who need help will not go away either. Someone will have to pay. Communities will ultimately have less money to invest in things that we love and care about. Our children, our environment, our schools and community services. To continue to pay for these things, property taxes will need to be raised. Our communities will pay the price. Hospitals will be forced to cover the cost of increased visits to the emergency room by those who cannot pay. The hospital will cover these costs by folding them into our insurance premiums. Rising insurance premiums will serve to inflate the cost of doing business in New Hampshire. Businesses will find it harder to add new jobs and will likely shift more of the cost of the insurance premiums to their employees. What this means is fewer jobs, and for those jobs that remain, reduced benefits. So what about you, the average citizen? Well, if property taxes go up because of the local burden, and if the business climate sours and jobs leave, and if businesses increase the employee share of insurance premiums, your wallet will be thinner. In addition to paying the price, you too will be forced to wait for the help you need. And finally, even if you are in the happy and healthy group now, you may find your health clinic or medical center closed. These provide the very prevention services so many of us count on to stay healthy, particularly in the rural parts of the state. If they go away, it may not be long before more and more are in line for help and with less money in their wallets. So let's think about this. We can save some money now by cutting state spending on services, but the ripple effect will cause us to spend many times more for it later. Our communities and our businesses will pay the price, and all of us could find our wallets a lot lighter. New Hampshire can do better. State funding for health and human services that help less fortunate neighbors, friends, and family is important. It should be a priority for the state legislature. Cutting funding reduces the ability to innovate in a time when innovation is critical. 
Cutting programs does not eliminate problems or real human needs. The buck just gets passed to local communities, businesses, and ultimately, the taxpayer. To learn more and find out what you can do to help, go to nhcandobetter.org.